Today for Tea Time with Princess Penelope, we're going to compare two different teas. Peach tea. <laughs> now, I love this Limpton, it's a, actually a green tea um, that's peach flavored. And then this Stash peach tea that's actually a black tea that is also peach flavored. So they are very similar, but yet a little bit different since this one's a green tea and this one's a black tea. Now, um, let's go ahead and get the tea steeping. And I'm going to start with this green tea first because green tea um, doesn't take quite as long to steep as black tea does. Now, uh, one of the things with green tea and with black tea is you want your water to be about 180 degrees and you can always tell if you have a glass teapot like this one. I always get questions about this, by the way. Um, I have a full review on what I like and don't like about it. And uh, you can find that linked below or it will be one of the next videos that pops up for you. Um, but if you have a glass tea kettle, you can, uh, that doesn't have a temperature measurement on it. Um, some have temperature gauges, some do not, but uh, glass ones typically don't. But the great thing about a glass teapot is that you can see what the water looks like. Now, when the water is uh, has the teeny tiny bubbles, then that means that it's about 165 degrees. Once the bubbles get a little bit larger, then it will be about around 175 degrees. And then once the bubbles are very large, then it's about 180 degrees, which is what you need for this tea. Um, and then also, uh, once you start seeing what they call a chain of pearls, where the bubbles start connecting together and rising to the top of the water, then it's almost ready to boil. And at that point, about 190 to 200 degrees. Um, all right here. So I'm gonna try the peach green tea first, since this one is about good to go. Green tea, you only want to steep for about a minute to three minutes max, um, or else it starts to get very bitter later. Uh, a lot of people do not like green tea for that reason, because it can be rather bitter tasting. Um, but that's typically because you let it sit in your water too long. All right, so let's give this one a taste. Mm, I love the peach flavor in this Limpton tea. It is just the perfect peach flavor. It's very light. It's not very heavy. Um, it has uh, a very pronounced peach flavor. It's not hidden at all. And that's probably because green tea is not a very strong tea um, versus black tea tends to be a stronger tea. And so the peach really shines with the, with the green tea. All right, let's give this black tea uh, a try. Oh, this one is very good as well. It, the peach is not quite as pronounced as it is with the green tea. Um, here, I'll give you a look at what these look like. So the green tea is obviously much lighter than the, than the black tea. Um, but they both have de a very definite peach flavor, but the uh, black tea, it is definitely more muted than with the green tea. The green tea, you can definitely very much taste that peach flavor. So I hoped you enjoyed uh, this um, comparison of the two different teas. You can find links to these below. Um, if you want more of a peach flavor, I recommend Limpton. And if you want less of a peach flavor, I recommend the Stash. So please give this video a thumbs up and until next time, take care.